The Norris Geyser Basin is one of the most unique thermal areas in the world. It is home to a variety of hot springs, pools, geysers, fumaroles, and mud pots. The water chemistry of the Norris hydrothermal features is known to range from acidic sulfuric to neutral chloric and combinations of both. The Norris Geyser Basin is also known to be highly dynamic. Changes in the subsurface plumbing system often cause changes observed at the surface. Earthquakes, uplift and subsidence, and changes in rainfall may be some of the stimuli that drive variations in the plumbing system. Some changes are dramatic and associated with increased thermal or geyser activity. Other changes are less obvious, such as changes in water chemistry. Most of the Norris thermal features can be viewed from a safe two-mile trail that winds through the basin, so many of these changes are well documented. For example, the emptying of Cistern Spring after an eruption of Steamboat Geyser or the hydrothermal eruptions at Porkshop Geyser. However, there are thermal features less visible to the public that have undergone significant changes. One such feature is Cinder Pool, in the 100 Spring Plain area of the Norris Geyser Basin. Cinder Pool named for the black sulfur cinders that continually float to the surface, though not widely known because it cannot be seen from safe trails or roads, is one of Yellowstone's most remarkable features. The hot spring is large, about 27 feet in diameter, and deep, about 60 feet, and has a layer of liquid sulfur at its bottom. The black ash floating on the pool's surface is thought to be formed from clumps of liquid sulfur that were trapped by gas bubbles as they rose to the surface, expanding and hardening as they rose. The ash itself is a hollow sphere of elemental sulfur-colored black by finely dispersed pyrite. Scientists discovered the layer of liquid sulfur at the bottom of the pool by measuring the pool's temperature at depth. They found that at a depth of about 60 feet, the temperature rose to about 240 degrees Fahrenheit, 116 degrees Celsius, which is the melting point of sulfur, and that sampling equipment would have been covered in solid sulfur when it was retrieved. 